What's up, guys, and welcome. You are watching Fuzzy Fitness. We already know that Nick Walker and Martin aren't cool with each other, and both have addressed that multiple times. It's not like they want to fight each other, they just don't see eye to eye on different topics. So, this happened on Guy's page. When Guy, a retired 212 bodybuilder, compared legs with Martin, who is 16 weeks out of Tampa Pro in open class bodybuilding. Nick Walker left a comment that Guy's legs are still better, and Martin responded with a really low blow. And the response from Nick Walker's fans was just brutal. And what was Martin expecting? Nick has a huge fan following, and he earned the respect of the bodybuilding world by winning New York Pro, the Arnold Classic, and placing top 5 at the Olympia in his first try. And if you talk trash about the most liked bodybuilder of the current era, you are asking for trouble. All right, look, by no means um, was this even supposed to be taken that far. Um, obviously, Martin has his opinions about me for no reason. Um, he wanted to wish death, death, death threats upon me. That's on him. Um, but for my supporters, I appreciate all of you having my back and defending me. But we do not stoop to someone like that's level um, and make death threats back. That's not, that's not what I'm about. That's not who we are. Um, so, again, I appreciate all of you, but we don't stoop to someone like that's level. We don't make death threats. Um, that's how he wants to present himself and make himself and his sponsors and everything else make look like a fool. Um, that's on him. Um, but we don't do that. We don't make death threats. It's not, that's not who we are. That's not who I am. So let him be the fool and we don't stoop to that level. Vlad, the Ukrainian beast, is finally back in Oxygen Gym to complete the rest of his prep with Camel Crew. Looks extremely good at 12 weeks out of his first show of this year. He has made some serious improvements in size, not implying that he wasn't big enough last year when he posed next to Oli Winkler in Spain. But he has taken it to the next level this time with a long productive offseason. A couple of weeks ago, he did confirm that his eyes are on Portugal Pro. And I think he has a great shot at winning that show and qualifying for his first ever Olympia. Still, to this day, many people believe that Nicholas was one of the true freaks in the 212 class. And if he would have kept going, he would have been top 5 in the future. He did Mr. Olympia once back in 2018. And if I'm not mistaken, that was his last competition. Since that time, he has lost almost 40 pounds of muscle, but he regained different aspects of his health back, which is his main priority. With all the deaths happening in the industry lately, he believes that he did quit on the right time and he is 100% at peace with this decision. I think Portugal Pro 2018 when he got compared with the great Hadi Chopin was the highlight of his career. He didn't win the show, but that was his career's best package. Continuing with the 212, the winning champ Derek Lunsford is in a league of his own. Judging by the amount of size he gained after winning his first Olympia, I don't think he can stay in the 212 division for long. 
I'm sure Honey Rambod and Derek are working to create more gap between them and second place finisher for the 2022 Olympia. But it is gonna get harder and harder for Derek to make weight as his body is clearly trying to grow. Jeremy Portwin's physique update is the reason why we all think he has the potential to be Mr. Olympia in men's physique. He is gifted with one of the most unique proportions if we look at the comparators past or present. Unfortunately, he had to withdraw from his planned upcoming competitions which were Pittsburgh and New York Pro. But he is gonna step back on stage for sure this year. Jeremy did say that he wants to switch over to classic physique once his legs match up with his upper body. But looking at the level of classic physique right now, I don't know whether switching over makes any sense. Ending the video with the shows ahead. We do not have the full list of Arnold Brazil yet and other than Rafael Brandao, no big names are doing it. Who looks better and better by the day? A mayor that 22 years old young gun is doing it and he will definitely be in the first call out. His last contest was Romania Pro 2021 where he placed 4th beating Quentin. I'm more excited for the battle between Justin Rodriguez and Charles Griffin at Indy Pro. In fact, it is surprising why any of these two didn't decide to compete in Brazil because both of them look ready. And these shows are just one week apart. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.